Hey gents, let's talk about my common projects. This silhouette is so venerable. I talked about it in my Greats versus Stan Smith video that this silhouette is classic. It's look in this form it is beautiful and elegant. Common Projects is built around two designers, uh, Flavio Giorlami and Prathan Pupa. I don't I'm, I'm very bad with pronunciations and especially uh, Italian, but it's built around two designers. They're luxury sneakers made in Italy of Italian leather, so they're high quality and they're well built and they're beautifully designed. They're from Italian designers. This is not the only silhouette that Common Projects makes, but this is the topic of discussion today. This colorway, you can see that the sole is a slightly different white than the upper, and then the shoelaces match. And these retail for at least $400. Depends on where you get them. I've seen them listed for $450, $410, $400, and sometimes you can get them on sale. But you're going to pay good money for these because they are a Italian luxury shoe designer and that's what you are paying for. The reason I bring that up is that you can get very similar build materials, quality, and everything else out of greats. This is the greats royale. I have this in white, but then I also have uh, from about a year ago, I've got the royale in black. So these have been uh, cavalier field tested and the white, uh, you can see a little bit of dirt on the back there, but I've also been wearing these more so than the common projects. I'd say the main difference between the two, I can't find exact weights online, but there's a slight weight differential between the two, the common projects being a hair lighter. I wouldn't say the greats are bulky, but when you're wearing them, they definitely have a larger feel to them. Now, I'm not here to tell anybody how to spend your money. Everybody can have their own shoe budgets. If it weren't for my channel, I would not have common projects. I couldn't bring myself to spend even more than $200 on a shoe, which is why I really like the greats. I think these are 169. They never really go on sale, but these are made in Italy out of Italian leather. So it's very, extremely similar build quality. And I've said before that if it were a blind test, I probably couldn't tell these two apart, just trying to feel the leathers and feel the shoes itself. And even from the weights, they're so close that I don't think I could do it. It would really come down to on the foot, I would be able to tell that the common projects are slightly slimmer and then the greats are slightly larger, but at an almost half price, or you know a little bit more in some cases, I would definitely pick up greats over the common projects if I wanted to get this silhouette, this same type of full calf, full leather, and uh, same thing with the leather lining. Also, that's a pretty big key, especially for a summer shoe like this. Now, I don't have long-term results on the inner lining. With a shoe like this, where you've got the full grain leather lining, you really don't need to wear socks. Leather is a very porous and breathable material, and it does not retain odor like you would see with like Stan Smith's where they have a cotton insole, and then that is what ends up retaining the, the, the foot smell that you get, and so you can sweat in these. But the Common Projects have a white in, inner lining, and the greats have a you know, just veg tan color. I also talked about this. These are my crown shoes. These are uh, crown shoes made in Northampton. These retail for about $200 as well. High quality, uh, England, made in England out of full grain leather material. And so this is another one where you don't have to wear socks and it has the veg tan lining. So if to you, if the white lining is worth the $200, premium over the greats, then go for the common projects. Or if you want the luxury name, that's what you're, largely you're paying for. And they are definitely a beautiful shoe. I do think every guy should have a great high quality white clean sneaker in the wardrobe. There are little design flourishes that give off that they are common projects. So you've got the numbers here on the side. The numbers go in order from the style number to the size number to the color number. And so that's what you'll see on the different iterations of the common projects. And there is just a slightly cleaner, uh, larger piece of leather here into the side and a slightly wider slope around this but the silhouettes are very very close the laces on the greats are a wax canvas and the laces on the common projects are just more of a cotton and then the color will depend on which style you get from the common projects you'll have a certain level of credibility or stature around others in the sneaker world because people will know this is the Common Projects luxury dress sneaker. If not, I think the greats are an excellent alternative at a much better price. And I think I said in my previous video, I'd rather have two pairs of greats, a black and a white Royale, than one pair of Common Projects. But 
that's just me. And there's great alternatives out there also. I mean, Jay mentioned in my last video, Gustin makes a great shoe. I haven't tried out their shoes. I've tried out their jeans and I really like the stuff that they make. And so if you can leave a comment below some of the other things that you like, I think what's most interesting is you've got two companies that are doing very similar products. You've got high quality, full grain Italian leather made in Italy and in that similar silhouette. But if you know others that are out there besides Gustin, Common Projects and Crown, let me know what some of your favorites are that are in this this higher tier because there's definitely a lot more sneakers that you can get for that hundred dollar price point but they're not necessarily made in Italy uh, luxury Italian leather type of shoes and thank you to Steve you sent me undandy shoes which is a high quality leather dress shoe upper on a cup sole for a sneaker so that's a pretty interesting blend I think I'm gonna pick up a pair of those as well there you have it gents I've had this one rolling around in my head for a while I also talked about it with Brock McGough over on our podcast if you don't listen to that check it out on iTunes Google Play and a couple other places you can pick up your podcasts you're probably already subscribed but if you're not you should and if you are subscribed and you know somebody else that would be interested in these type of videos talking about the best men's on the internet, make sure you share with them and say, hey, subscribe, this is a cool channel because the more subscribers I get, the more products I can get and the more time I can dedicate to doing these videos because I do them all for you and I thank you to everybody who likes, subscribes, watches, comments, everything else. Really appreciate it, guys. And until next time, gents, this is The Cavalier.